and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I actually have a guest. And a stray hair by the looks of it as well. <laughs> I told you, it's alright. But yeah, my guest today is obviously Dan, my boyfriend. So we will be filming a certain tag that has been floating around on YouTube for many of years now. So I thought, well actually we tried to do a different video, went horribly wrong. <laughs> so this is round two. So yeah, we are doing the boyfriend tag today. So you can find out a little more about us as a couple and how much we actually know about one another. I need that. Question number one. Right, where did <sighs> we meet? Oh, we... Matt, I said that as well. <laughs> <laughs> Question number one. Where did we meet? Well, we probably met in primary school, but we don't remember that. So we, where we met, where we actually remember it would be the star. <laughs> Did we remember that though? <laughs> we yeah. were under the influence. Yeah, I remember it. Yeah, so basically me and Dan went to the same primary school and, and the same school. secondary. Um, but Dan's a couple of years older than me and we actually... I think we always kind of knew of each other's names, but we didn't actually know each other personally or ever like hung out together or remember seeing one another that we remember no, but funny story there was a picture school of us photo. there was a whole school photo of when i was in reception and dan was obviously in year two and it, on the picture there's me on the bottom row like here and dan is literally two heads behind me it's it's kind of weird but yeah no it's so strange. like dan said we strange. did we did meet at the pub where we go locally now we actually met through a friend and i stumbled across this guy and across. literally it was pretty instant when i yeah. Like, we, we just got on really well, didn't we? Yeah, so that's how we met. Number two, where was our first date? Official or unofficial? Both. Unofficial would be the Raisin Crown. Whip. Yeah, that was like, when was that? That was like... Like in February time? Was it? February? So me and Dan met in the summer of 2014. Yes. Yeah, well, yeah, 2014, and then we went on our... But we didn't really speak for quite a long time after that. No. Just We were getting on with our own lives. And then, I think, yeah, I think we must have gone a date. It was winter, that's all I remember. Like, January, yeah, was, February? I think it was February. I think it was. Because we went for a drink, and you drove, and, and you then I a ordered a Coke. Yeah, I was fuming. <laughs> fuming. I don't know why I did that. Our first official date was the new inn. Yeah, that was in the April, wasn't it? Was that like not long after we actually got together, or were we together then? No. Like so before, me and Dan got together in the because April. Because you nearly cancelled. I got cold feet. Because I phoned up and cancelled. You said you don't want to go, and then you said, "What do you do that?" So I phoned back up and uncancelled with a cancellation. Undecisive woman. Undecisive. I was nervous. I had cold feet. It was all like, even though we'd known each other for quite a long time, all of a sudden it was quite quick wasn't it it yeah, was quite it was, like yeah. yeah right third question what was your first impression of me <laughs> um my first my first impression nice box <laughs> for those of you who don't understand the language uh, of this specimen here <laughs> i didn't understand that either no, but he basically liked to check me out well, what's wrong at the now? time Nothing. No, I Nothing. thought you were very nice. Outgoing. Yeah, I'd probably say the same for you. It was kind of, I just found you really easy to be around. Yeah. Like, I'd never company. obviously met Dan before. I just was going out with my friend and Dan was there. And I just found the like, conversation was really easy. It was comfortable. We were both quite talkative. I think we probably spent a lot of the night together just us, rather than actually with the people that we went yeah. out with, didn't we? True. So, yeah, I'd probably say so. I just found it, I will always just remember knowing how, like, comfortable you made me feel which was really really nice oh. i looked fit apparently <laughs> okay when did you meet the family when did i meet the family i remember when you met my mum the first time when i met your mum so you were clearing out your wardrobe yeah and your mum coming from school that was in working, february and she gave us both a sticker because she give you a sticker for saying My well works done. At a school. Well done for cleaning out your cupboard and a, well done for being brave for me for coming right. Yeah. yeah, so I think but it was like in the February time. Was it February? It was before we were together and I was doing a 
clear out as you do and mm. I asked you to come round and help me out and it was it was nice it was the, that was the first time you met my mum obviously my mum had known of Dan before because she works in the school so she, she knew of him she like was in his classes and stuff but obviously didn't know him on a level like now um that was the first time you met my mum and the first time you met my dad would have been when you dropped me down that time would have been March it would have been around Mother's Day so I went to watch my cousins didn't I race him yeah, so one day I was going down to see him for the weekend and Dan kindly offered to drop me down and offered. I, okay, I, I asked Dan if he could drop me a down. Question, can you drop me down? Well we've been spending a lot of time together and I thought, well you might as well take me there, Martin you, you drive. And our friend Ben came up with us as well. And um my dad actually thought Ben was the guy that I was seeing and gave him a lot of stick. So you know? he got it easy. Got but yeah, so that was the first and then for me I met Dan's mum and dad for the first time like quite early on when we met because um, Dan was dropping me home after we'd been out for a night. Obviously Dan wasn't drinking, it was just me as always. And um, I was desperate for the toilet so I came into his house to go to the toilet and stumbled on in and was like, hi, bye. <laughs> and then it kind of was like that became quite a regular thing, wasn't it? But it was all very easy and very comfortable, it wasn't like, not at all. Okay. Do I have any weird obsessions? If so, what are they? Weird obsession. Mm. You're obsessed with women. Other women. Yeah. I'm very empowered by other women. I'm very um, Some influenced. Some would be one. Lucy Mack would be another. Yeah. I just love like seeing how, like other people be really successful and um, a lot of those other people do tend to be women so yeah Sam Fairs, Lucy Mack, Zoella I absolutely love watching yeah. I'm not yeah. that infatuated by men I don't know if you have any other weird obsessions to his obviously no I'd say this is a weird one but if we go anywhere he does like to go on the fruit machine any pub down not as much the anymore machine. not as much no I will give you that but probably better off saying two pea machines if we go to West and some I I get angry if we don't go to the amusements. Yeah, Dan is a big fan of amusements, as am I, love it. But you know, it's the weird obsession of like, having to put £10 worth of two peas in a machine just to win the crappy key ring, yeah, yeah. which I don't want and I don't need. Which is very kind of him to do that, but yeah. Anyway. How long have you been together? How long have we been together? Mm. So officially we've been together two years and three months. Officially. And six days. And probably t near enough to the hour, so you're watching one born every minute. <laughs> and that on at nine or something. Nine or eight. Yeah, nine. Nine, okay, so in about an hour's time. Yeah. So yeah, so that's officially Dan did asked me to be his girlfriend while we, we were watching One Born Every Minute, but there we go. Um, but really, we've been together for about two years and a half, haven't we? Two and a half years, really. Yeah. We've been, like, committed to one another for quite a long time. And, yeah. So, yeah. Been good, though, haven't it? Oh, yeah. Been good. Do you have a tradition with your boyfriend or girlfriend? Do we have any traditions? Get your flowers every month. Yeah, Dan will buy me flowers every month. Another tradition we have is every Christmas, every like December, we will watch like a trilogy, a trilogy or like a series of films. Of films. Yeah. So last year we watched um, Twilight. Twilight last year. And the year before, didn't we watch The Hunger Games? No, we were going to. What did we watch the year before? We were going to watch Hunger Games, but we didn't in the end. Um, what did we watch? Hobbit, I think. I think yeah. it was a Hobbit. So <clears> yeah, Hobbit, so yeah. we like to have like a little trilogy or a series of films that we watch throughout the winter, as well as obviously Christmas films. But it's quite nice to watch something else. And another tradition, probably again festive related. We tend to buy each other an advent calendar that isn't your average advent calendar. True. I sort of bought Dan one which I filled myself and Dan bought me like a really beautiful light up one last year which I broke. But anyway, <laughs> moving on from that. What was our first road trip? Our first road trip? Consider it your dad's or? Yeah, I guess either my dad's or your nan's. No, Torquay. Torquay, yeah. Torquay. Yeah. I drove, yeah. Yeah, so 
a couple of days before me and Dan became uh, an official item, we went away to Torquay for our friend's birthday and that was our first sort of weekend away together. Obviously we were with friends but we were in our own room together and we everyone went home earlier and we stayed for the rest of the day, didn't we? That yeah, was probably our first proper so. road trip. Yeah, that which was first road trip. I forgot about that. What is my favourite restaurant? Your favourite restaurant? Mm. Could be... Could be one of a few. Yeah. Could it... Would it be one for sentimental reasons or one just because you love the food? Which one are we going for? Either. Whatever. The swan, I'm going to say. Swan's nice. <clears throat> I'm probably going to have to one. always say the Rose and Crown wig. I oh, see. If you had said sentimental reasons, I would have yeah, said that. Yeah, but no, I yes. say it on a, men on a reason as in, like, yes, it means a lot to us because it was where we had, like, our first sort of date is where we've been for, like, birthdays, our anniversaries. But also we, like, going there for the food. Like, we yeah, went there. Though. We've just celebrated our engagement there. So, um, yeah, no, I do like that. I'd probably say yours is, like, either there or uh, the new inn at Mays Hill. I do like it. That is nice. Again, because we had our first proper Mine's date actually there. actually Panos in Cyprus. Yeah, great steak. If you're ever in Larnaca in Cyprus, check out Panos Steak Restaurant. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. Pause. And first day. <laughs> okay. Um, what do we argue about the most? Food. No, see, I wouldn't say I. I wouldn't say we argue about a particular thing the most. I just say we argue the most when we're both a bit tired or irritable or. Oh, so it's a certain thing. Yeah, it is. But I wouldn't say we have a certain thing we argue about the no, most. We argue more when we're tired. If one of us is tired. Yeah. Or if we're both tired, then it's not really arguments. It's just. Like the things that probably wind me up the most would be like if. Like, and to be fair, you're very, 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 very good. It's not often you don't. But if I've done a lot of, like, cooking and stuff like that and then you don't offer to wash up or something like yeah, that, I that always will do. bug me. But, no, you do. Most most points of the time you do. I do cook as well. Yeah. Not, off, not recently. No. But I work later. Yeah, and actually I really enjoy cooking. We bicker a lot, but we don't argue a lot. We bicker over just, like, every day, you know, what, what we're watching on TV, who's cooking this, what we're having for tea, you're too hot, get off me, that kind of thing, isn't it? You're too hot, girl. Yeah. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> um, who wears the pants in the relationship? He'd like to say him. I'd like to say me. But I'd say it's very much mutual. I'd say 50-50. Yeah. I, I'd both say we like handle our roles quite well. I say fifty fifty. If yeah. we don't want to if we don't want to do something, we're not not one person basically says you're doing that. Yeah, we wouldn't dare like put that pressure on each other. We wouldn't then I wouldn't turn around and be like, We only do you things have you to do both this. Wanna do. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. And like I'm I'm if a I, bossy person, I'm quite like bossy, actually, but you handle that very well. But at the same time if you've had enough of me, I back down quite easily yeah, as if well. If I ask you to get me something, you're like, you get it, and vice versa. Yeah, it's not like Dan literally runs like, around wiping my backside Mo, and vice versa. Mo, do that for me. Mo, do this for me. No, if anything, I can be a little bit more like that. But it's never a problem. And like, if Dan's done a lot for me, I will be like, right, sit down, I'll go do this or whatever. whatever. So yeah, no, I'd say we're pretty 50-50. If I'm watching TV, what am I watching? YouTube. All or time. Pretty Little Liars, but that's not on that's anymore. Ended so. now. <sighs> pretty Little Liars. Was anyone else a bit like, mm, about the ending? If you are, then please comment in the comments below because I am very much love-hate with the ending. But moving on. Yeah, now always watching YouTube, YouTube, aren't I? All the time. You don't really watch TV. I don't really watch TV. Unless and I don't really... watch them together. Yeah, I won't start a series. We don't often watch a series. So I watch YouTube all the time rather than watching TV. We don't watch, like, the soaps or anything, do we? Oh, God, no. But yeah. What is one food I don't like? You don't like? Mm. It's a hard one. There's a lot of foods I like. You don't like? I'm a big foodie. So I would have said fish before. Yeah, I didn't eat other. fish for 10 years because I had a real bad experience when I went to Cornwall one time, but I've started eating it again. There's not a lot that we won't I just eat. like go through phases, I think, don't I? Like for a long time I didn't eat chicken. Um, didn't eat fish. I don't like olives. 
Oh, but then Dan doesn't like well. olives. They're, they're terrible. Yeah, there's not many things I don't like and there's not many things you don't like. Try everything. Yeah, we just try everything and if we don't like it, we don't like it, but... It's, not, really it's, not, it's a very really rarity like. that we don't like something. What drink do I order when we go out to eat? You change all the time. All the time. Mm -hmm. Always used to be... Well, when I first met you, you drink cider. Yeah. But I didn't often have that with a meal. Is that when we go out to eat? We went to eat. Well, you some well now at the minute you have like a lager, a bottled lager. Yeah. But before you'd have had like a gin and tonic or, or you'd a prosecco, have a pros prosecco or wine. I often or but I always always pretty much order a jug of water to the table when I. Yeah. I don't All tend time, to drink yeah. like fizzy drinks. I'm not a fizzy drink drinker. The only fizzy drinks that I drink is alcohol. So. Yeah, it tends to be water or it just be... I tend to like to drink water when I'm eating anyway. I find the food goes down a bit nicer. But if not, it is yeah, either like a bottle of beer or a Prosecco or a gin. It's not often a gin though, really, is it? Not anymore. Sometimes a glass of wine. Not for a while. And you're just... You vary. Beers, aren't you, really? Yeah. What shoe size do I wear? Three. Got tiny feet. And I've got little feet. Probably more like a two and a half sometimes in different shoes, isn't it? Yeah. I fit into a free comfortably, but i am always got to do laces up and things like that because it does um, slop a little bit, doesn't it? You've got tiny feet. Yes, tiny feet, tiny, tiny hands, feet. tiny body. Big head. <laughs> Big head. What is my favourite kind of sandwich? Your favourite kind of sandwich? You don't really eat sandwiches. Don't. Because you're not massive on bread. Mm, makes me bloated. But if I had to say one or make one up, I'd go for a bit of mixed Italian ham. Mm. Do you want to know what my favourite sandwich is? Cheese and cucumber sandwich. Or <sighs> well, my dad used to make me ham and cucumber sandwiches and they're always just a, like a bit of a... What's the word? Nostalgic? Like a bit like it's a memory for me. Or a crisp sandwich. Crisp sandwich. Worcester sauce. Crisp sandwich. No, it's always about the cheese and onion. Mm. They were always the last packet left, so you'd always just use them as a... Cheese and cucumber sandwiches. Yeah. Why, what's yours? I'd just say yours is just like a BLT. Anything. Dan eats anything. What is one talent I have? One talent you have? And you can't say my job. A talent? What's one talent I have? I'm untalented. Um... Dance quite well when you try. Pathetic. Once getting Dan on the dance floor is a task, but once he's on there, getting him off is a bigger task. Talent. A good cook. Yeah, I'll take like, that. Is that. That then. Yeah, I'll that take work? that. I like to cook. That's a good talent of mine. I wouldn't ever go like master chef or anything like that, because I think it would just like it would become too serious for me. I do it as a relaxation rather than like anything else. Yeah, I take that. Good. Quite cool. Can't think of anything else. What would I eat every day if I could? Your breakfast? Yeah. <laughs> I'm a big, big fan of breakfast, aren't you I? Love breakfast. And I literally have the same thing like every day. I always have like my granola with Greek yogurt and fruit and honey. And I love it. I can eat it any time of day. I can eat it for the rest of my life. For you, it would probably be... I'd probably say chicken for you. You reckon? Yeah. Chicken or steak? Steak would be good for us. Yeah. In the oh, we've already answered this, but what is my favourite cereal? Um, your favourite cereal? Mm. Actual cereal? Well, granola. Yeah, I make my own so granola. So it's not my own granola. I make the results of Lucy homemade granola, and I love it. But if I, I'm a double cereal person, aren't I? Yeah, you're always granola and something. Is it all either granola and wheat a bit, or I'll have like shredded wheat and granola, or what did I have the other day? I had cornflakes and alpen or something. Cornflakes and alpen, yeah. Yeah, I'm always a double cereal kind of girl. You got to change it up, different textures. What is my favourite music? Your favourite music. Mm. Then you listen to all different stuff on there. I'd say Sometimes my ultimate favourite. Yeah, I'd say my ultimate favourite. Like Oasis. Yeah. Like, my ultimate favourite will always be, like, indie rock. I love Oasis Kasabian. I love things like the Kooks. I love things, even, like, I don't know, even things like the Scouting for Girls and stuff like that. They're not indie oh, rock, but, like... Oasis was probably your favourite. 
Arctic. Arctic Monkeys. But then I am a good fan of like old school music as well. So I love things like Casey and the Sunshine Band. Um, is it baby, give it up, give it up. But then you love new stuff as well. Like you love Ed Sheeran. I love Ed Sheeran, but I wouldn't say I love all the new stuff. Some new stuff is yeah. terrible. Yours is different. Like your music type is like... You like things that people won't necessarily really know. You like a lot of like cover stuff. Like you love like um, Boys Avenue. Boys Avenue. Uh, what's his name? Daltry. Dalt. He doesn't do cover stuff though. No, but that Chris, kind of music. Chris Daltry. Chris Daltry. Um, but then you like classic things as well, like some of the like Will Smith songs, like Get Jiggy with It. I listen. Nelly. I listen to anything. Yeah, we're like pretty cool with it. We listen to anything. What is my favorite sports team? Don't have to answer. Did you say what Man U or Rovers? Man United. Oh. Yeah, so Man I'm a Man United. United fan, and Dan is a Chelsea fan. So this was really interesting when we met. Not on my part; it was more on our dad's fan. parts. Yeah, so we're obviously from Bristol. So my dad is a Man United fan and a Bristol Rovers fan. And Dan's dad is a Bristol City fan. He's a Liverpool fan and Dan's a Chelsea fan. But yeah, but football's football. And we ain't that fussed about it. We just, we just enjoy watching it. So apart from that, I don't really watch any other sports. Um, what is my eye colour? You're not allowed to look. <laughs> <laughs> Yours are like two colours. Mm. Like hazel, I'd say, if I had to pick a colour. But you're kind of yeah. like brown middle. And like a yeah, green, if I can try and show them side. without like blinding myself on my light. You see the tone <laughs> in the corner. Whereas Dan's a blue, so. You see the tone in the corner of the screen. Oh, get that away. <laughs> got pins and needles again. <laughs> Who is my best friend? Dan Perkins. Yeah, I'd say you're my best friend. I'm Ben. Yeah, I, I'm. Yeah, I've had a best friend since the age of like primary school, like four. Ben, he is my, he's my mate, love him to death. But yeah, ultimately, Dan is my best friend. Who's yours? You're all right, I suppose. Yeah, I mean, you get on with everyone. Like, best friend wise, if you had to pick someone, it would be like Ben Shaw. Yeah. Or Adam, or got someone. Yeah, I've got a few. We just got, got a few. really good group of friends, so we're pretty. Pretty happy with that, aren't we? Yeah. Which, what is something I do that you wish I didn't? Something you do that yeah. I wish you didn't. Yeah. Um, wait until I'm in bed and then say, can you go fill out my water bowl, please? <laughs> like, I've had like yeah. four hours since I've been home. Could have done at any point. Literally get in bed and then, then you ask. Dan sleeps closest to the door. Or, and another one. Another one. Another one. Shall I, shall, like I, shall I just leave? Something like DJ Khaled then, don't I? Another one. <laughs> Um, when I always tell you, you're getting a bit better, well, you always ask for your shoulder to be rubbed, but you always wait until, like, I'm about to fall asleep and then ask me. Basically, and then get I, grumpy because I don't do it. I, I suffer am, like, really badly with my shoulder, with my job and stuff, I get really bad. So I do ask Dan if he can, like, massage it for me. And yeah, I always tend to ask him as soon as his head hits the pillow and he's like, <sighs> I'm like, Dan. And he knows, he'll just ignore me for like five minutes. But yeah, also, he lives, he lives. He sleeps right oh, next to the door, so I always ask him to fill up the water bowl. What's one thing that you do that I wish you didn't? Um, um fart all the time. <laughs> all the time. It's not all the time. Been recording this for thirty minutes. I haven't done one yet. He probably will as soon as I shut off recording. <laughs> yeah, and they're always really bad as well. Like, when we first met, like, I never heard him fart, so I'm like, and now, now if I say, why do you have to do that? He's like, oh, well, it's natural, I need to do it. I'm like, well, you never used to. Smell like blue in our voice. <laughs> okay. Where am I from? Where are you from? Yugoslavia. What? <laughs> Bristol. We are both Bristol born and bred. <clears throat> as you can probably tell from my voice. As you can tell from my voices, but yeah. What kind of cake would you bake me on my birthday? Well, I baked your cake on your birthday before. You did? It was my 21st last October and you baked me it a cake. It was turbo chocolatey. Which isn't Salty. something I would normally eat. He it definitely was... baked it for himself. <laughs> it, was it was gorgeous though. Triple, I think it was like triple chocolate, salted caramel. 
something. Yeah, it was good. It was like three layers, and it was they were all different kinds of sponge. And yeah, it was nice. I did have help there. Yeah, good old Mama Jane. Yeah, she's she's right baking. She is. Yeah, and then <clears throat> I baked Dan a lemon cheesecake for his, didn't I? Nice lemon Mary Berry cheesecake. lemon cheesecake. Chuck it all in. Chuck it all in. Do I play any sports? No. No, but I do exercise. You do exercise, yeah. But you said, do you play any sports? Yeah. No, I don't play any sports, but no I sports do a lot of general like fitness exercise. As you know, I do Results with Lucy. If you want to find out more about Results with Lucy, please let me know, and I will happily dedicate a video to that. But no, I don't have any sport hobbies as such. Whereas Dan plays cricket, um, which is... You have done for, like, what, 10 years? Longer than that? No, 10 years. Ten Start years. when I was 13. Yeah, 10 years. Nice social sporting activity of drinking in the sun. When it's sunny. <laughs> <laughs> I don't drink that much, I promise. <laughs> what can I spend hours doing? What? Hours. Hours. What hours. can I spend <laughs> hours doing? What can I spend doing? hours doing? <laughs> what? Wake up. <laughs> Sleeping. Good one, that. YouTube, yeah. watching YouTube. Yeah, again, watching YouTube. Um, chatting. Chatting, yeah, you can. You, yeah, you can talk. I do like gym wag. Yeah. What can you spend hours doing? You're quite a happily chilled person, so Dan can spend hours just like watching TV. But then we're both quite productive, aren't we? So we were quite hungover, so we had a really, really chilled out Sunday. And then we got a bit bored of being chilled out, so we ended up, up playing Scrabble. Oh, I wanted to do some that too productive yeah we like we like doing things but yeah no i'd say you can spend hours sort of like you could spend hours like pottering about you're quite happy like pottering around yeah doing things and i like Keep to watch youtube okay so the last one is if i could live anywhere where would i live down south probably two places well i'd say down south Devon Cornwall. Yeah, we definitely want to. We definitely will live there in our lifetime. Or stay we here, I guess. We're well, not like here, but like in Bristol. I would probably, if I had to live anywhere that I've not been before, which probably reminds me a bit of Bristol, but isn't down in Cornwall, it would probably be Brighton. Even though I've not been to Brighton before, so it's pretty like a strong thing for me to say. Like. I don't know what it's like, but from what I know of Brighton, I love the whole like being in the city and the country and by the sea. You're like right along the coast. You're not too far from London. You're not m miles away from Bristol. You've got like the quirky way of life. You've got the pier. You've got the arcades. So we would definitely try and live in Cornwall. We've got family there, so we would like to live Cornwall, Devon way. At one point in our life we were planning on it being sooner rather than later but we're not so sure at the moment are we see what happens see what, see happens. what happens you if we were to have a family i'd quite like to have my family in cornwall devon because i just love the way of life down there it's so like it's so much more chill so chill it's so relaxed is. but at the same time we'll just see what happens we love bristol and we like being in bristol our like immediate families in bristol um but you don't know where life can take you. You don't know what can happen within years. So, but yeah, we definitely want to. We we like to visit a lot of places, don't we? We like to go on weekends yeah, away like to, to places. Around. We like to travel around. So, who knows what's going to steal our heart? But that was the last question, guys. So, thank you all very much for watching. I do really appreciate it. Please, thank you for tuning in and finding out a little bit more about us and how much we know one another. Um, I hope you enjoyed. So, if you did, please give it a cheeky little thumbs up and please hit subscribe love it if you subscribed to my channel that's quite hard to say i'd love it if you subscribe to my channel thank you very much i'd love it if you Not hit mine. subscribe I don't, I don't have one. um because then you will see all my future videos to come and i would really appreciate the love if you enjoyed seeing this guy on my channel please let me know and i will arrange some more videos to get him on but one thank you ever so much for tuning in and i hope you enjoyed bye